New tonight, loved ones are gathered here this afternoon to celebrate the life of a Greenville woman who was murdered in July. A vigil was held today in her honor. Our Chloe Salsaneda has more. People who knew Susan Donald describe her as a kind and giving woman whose life was cut short. Happy Balloons rose in the air in honor of Susan Donald. She would have celebrated a birthday this past week. My mom was one of the nicest people on this earth. She would do anything for anybody, and she didn't deserve to be done the way that she was done. Donald was killed last month. Her body was found in an abandoned house located next door to her home. Words just can't explain the hurt that my family goes through on a daily basis. 63-year-old Ricky McCullough was arrested and charged for Donald's death. Though he's behind bars, Donald's family says they're still trying to seek justice. They want the abandoned house where she was killed to be removed. So what I'm going to be attempting to do is to sue the owner of this house. And if he doesn't do something quickly, then he's going to have to pay. Donald's family was joined by local and state leaders who echoed the same calls. Not only her family, but her friends and her neighbors hurt every day that they, you know, see this house. And we have to hold people responsible, whether it's the owner of the property, whether it's the city, the county, the state. They say they don't want what happened to Donald to ever happen again. Maybe uh, filing a lawsuit against the owner, maybe something that can move things a little quicker. In Greenville, Chloe Salsameda, 7 News.